Hello children, in this video we are going to learn how to find a cube root of a number using prime factorization. So let's revise what is a cube root. Say cube root of 125 if we need to find it's nothing but we can represent 125 as 5 cube because it's 5 into 5 into 5. So it's cube root of 5 cube means we can cancel this and this so we are left with 5. So 5 cube is 125 or vice versa cube root of 125 is 5. So that's what we have learned in the last video. Now let's try to find out what is a cube root and how do we find it using prime factorization. And we know what is prime factorization. It's a way of finding a product of prime numbers to make the original number. For example, number 6 can be represented as 2 into 3 where 2 and 3 both are prime numbers or number 24 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 which is 24 and so on. So we know about prime factorization and now we are going to use prime factorization to find the cube root of any given number. So let's say we are given 3375 as the number whose cube, cube root we need to find using prime factorization method. So as we know, how do we use prime factorization? We write the number, we write this way and we start with 2 and we take each prime number and try to divide it. So can this number be divided by 2? No, it's ending with 5. It's an odd number so it cannot be divided by 2. Let's try to take 3. Can we use 3? Yes, we can use 3. So 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3, 3 to 6, 1.1 is 1, 1, 5. Try to divide again with 3. It's possible. Yes, it's possible. 1, 1, 2, 5 divided by 3 is 375. Again, try to divide it by 3. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. So we divide 375 by 3, we get 125. It's still more possible with 3. 3 was a 12, 5. No, it's not possible. So we take the next prime number after 3, which is 5. Yes, it's ending with 5, so it can be divided by 5. So we take 5. 125 divided by 5 is 25. Again, we take 25. It can be divided by 5, so we get 5. 5 can be divided by 5, we get 1. So you, this is the standard prime factorization method that is 3375 can be represented as 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5. Right? So whatever we have on this side, we write it here. Now try to bundle it into groups of 3, the same number. So 3 into 3 into 3 can be represented. We can put one line here. 5 into 5 into 5, 3 fives product of three fives so you, we get we can put a line here and we know we can write 3 into 3 into 3 as 3 cube and 5 into 5 into 5 as 5 cube so 3 3 7 5 is nothing but product of 3 cube into 5 cube so now try to find out cube root of 3 3 7 5 is nothing but cube root of 3 cube into 5 cube and what we can do, because both the numbers in the products are having cube, we can cancel the cubes with the cube root and we are left with 3 and 5 alone, which is 3 into 5, which is 15. So cube root of 3, 3, 7, 5 is 15. So we found out prime factorization method, then the products made it cubes and then once we got all the cubes product here, we can cancel each of them again the cube root and we are left with just the individual numbers and their products 3 into 5 we got 15. So cube root of 3, 3, 7, 5 is 15. Let's check the answer. We know cube root and cubes are reverse operation. So the answer we got is 15. So we try to do 15 cube is nothing but 15 into 15 into 15 which is 15 into 15 is 225 225 into 15 is 3375 so the answer is correct cube root of 3375 is 15 or 15 cube is 3375 
So now let's try to take another example and find cube root of 74088. Using prime factorization, if we do it in our copy, we are going to represent 74088 like 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7. We can bundle each of these three same numbers as we can put a line there 2 into 2 into 2 3 into 3 into 3 and 7 into 7 into 7 so that we can write cubes there 2 cube 3 cube 7 cube so 74088 is nothing but 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 cube hence its cube root is cube root of 74088 is cube root of 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 cube so each of the numbers are having cubes here so we can cancel them out and we are left with 2 into 3 into 7 so 2 into 3 is 6 6 7 is a 42 so cube root of 74088 is 42 then we can check the answer we can do a reverse operation 42 cube is should be same as 74088 42 into 42 into 42 is 74088 so hence cube root of 74088 is 42. So that's all in this video children. Bye bye.